man, if you have ever been in a place what? I just tapped my microphone. <laughs> You've ever been in a place where you're like, you know what? This business business is some business and I need help because I'm so overwhelmed. If that's ever been you, this video is just what you need. So my name is Molly Mahoney. I would love to know if you've ever found yourself in that position. And today, Yes, I did say we're going to be talking about eliminating business overwhelm. Really, we're going to be talking about reducing business overwhelm and learning to love living in sometimes the chaos, sometimes in the calm, and how you can really work to ensure that there's more calm in your life and less chaos. That would be so great, right? So that you can have fun, so that you can enjoy, so that you can live your life and your business can continue to grow. If you would like notes from today's show because I've got a full checklist that I'm going to give you. I have some links that I'll be sharing. Just drop the word, remind me, all one word in the chat. I'm going to pull up the chat right now so I can see you. Let me know if you're watching this live or in the replay and drop the word, remind me, all one word in the chat. I don't think it'll work here on the live, but maybe it will. Try it. We're live on Instagram as well. Drop, remind me in the chat. If you're on the Book of Faces on our business page, we'll get back to you right away with a little messenger bot. If you're not, you may actually need to go to this little link. So I'm going to put a link in the chat right now. It is molly.live slash remind me. And that will allow you to get signed up for reminders as well as get access to all of our past shows, to get access to the show notes from all of our past shows and the show notes in the future. So when you click on that little link, molly.live slash remind me, it will actually um, take you to our messenger bot, Molly bot. She's so nice and friendly. Okay, can we do a little sound check? Because I was live on Instagram and right before I went live, I was like, oh no, I didn't have my microphone plugged in. So I just grabbed it right now. Is it is it working okay? You see that? Is my microphone there? <laughs> can you hear me? I'm assuming you can. All right. Let's talk about this overwhelm piece, man. We are going to jump in. I have I have a whole huge list already planned for you. I have seven things on this list. I think I'm going to be adding in an eighth. I am. I'm going to add in a 2.5 because I thought of one other thing that I wanted to share. Um, adding it in, adding it in. All right. So I am going to go through this whole list of seven different ways that you can reduce, maybe even eliminate overwhelm. This is something that comes up so often for our community. And I thought, you know what? We're going to talk about it today. Because when you're building a business, I mean, whether you're online, offline, whatever, there is a lot. There are so many moving pieces. And I'm going to give you this really great strategy that will help you to just be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and when things come up, when things get stressful, when things get overwhelming, when you feel like I'm so busy, you'll be able to more easily see those things as bubbles, little bubbles that are flying through. And then it'll be like, you have a magic feather and you're just going to go poof. And those bubbles are just going to float away. <laughs> right? Okay. So also let's do a nugget giveaway. So here is how the nugget giveaway works. If this is your first time joining me live, whether you are here on Instagram or you're over on Facebook, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, all those places, this is how the nugget giveaway works. And I would love to know if you're new. So if this is your first time joining us live, drop the word new in the chat. It's so good to see you. Hey, I'm Molly. It's so good to see you. <laughs> you like my new shirt? I really love it. And this is how it works. As you hear things that are maybe a new strategy, maybe it's a strategy you learned like when you were a kid and you forgot about it. Maybe it's something that you just really needed a reminder of and you're finally actually going to put it into action. What you do is below this video, drop the hashtag nugget. And then share, after you drop the hashtag nugget, share what the actual nugget was. So Fantua, we're so glad that you're here. You can try it right now. If there's already been a nugget, just drop the hashtag nugget and then share what that nugget was in the chat. And then what I'll do is at the end of this video, I'm going to come back and I will find people who have left nuggets and then I will actually pick someone to win. So today, what are we going to give away today? Um... I moved to my other side of my office, so I don't really have things here. Let's give away, we'll give away a copy of our book, which is called Finding My Awesome. It was written as a children's book, but it's really for adults so that they can read it to children and become more confident and more awesome. Oh my gosh, so good. Lisa, good to see you. Cassandra, good to see you too. 
I love you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. And if you are in our show up with video community or you're in the glam fam, we call that the cam fam and the glam fam. Those are our paid programs. You know, you're in our membership or you're maybe you're in the content club. Just give me the word below of whatever it is that you're in. If you're in the content club, drop the word club. If you're in the cam fam and show up with video, drop cam fam. If you are in the glam fam, drop that below. That's our higher level VIP coaching. And I'm going to say right now, if you are not in either of those, why not? <laughs> We're glad that you're here though, as a part of our community. So we did a vote a while ago to ask what our community wanted to be called. And the vote led to mall stars. That's what they said. They wanted to be called mall stars. So you are officially, hey, now you're a mall star. You are a mall star and we're glad that you are here. I have one more little announcement for you before we jump into this seven and a half step system, which is we are doing a big, huge training next week. So if you missed it about a month ago, we had a video hit a reach of 39 million organically on the book of faces. And that one video led to $160,000 in a combination of sales of new product and also in $30,000 that the Book of Faces paid us, which I still cannot believe. And it makes me want to cry because I can't believe it because it happened. So it happened. And what I'm going to do is next week on Wednesday, it's actually my birthday. So we're going to be doing this as like a little birthday party. And I'm going to grab you a link. I'm going to put it in the chat. And this link that I'm going to put in the chat will be a way for you to be able to join us in this little pop-up training that we're doing. So this pop-up training will be about how experts are adding an extra 100K to their revenue using organic social media. The most recent version of us doing this was the 160 that we made off of that one video Many of you know, last November, we brought in an extra 136 in just a week with a little idea that I had with a pop-up group, different things that we're doing. So I've got a bunch of stuff that I'll show you, and it's all really in the foundational system that we teach in our GLAM program and also in Show Up With Video. This foundational system, I'm going to walk through on this training. It's totally free. The only little caveat about this is that we're only going to make this one available for 24 hours. This is... And I'm actually just grabbing you the link right now. This is, okay, did I fix it? I fixed it. Okay, this is going to be totally free. It's on my birthday. And I want to hold you accountable to actually watching it. So you're going to have 24 hours to go through this. And I'm going to put it here. Let's see if this link works. Testing it like I like to do. Yes, it works. Okay, so I'm putting this link in the chat. Thank you for the happy pre-birthday. Yay, Pisces. Yes. Do we have other Pisces? I love it. Okay. It is molly.live slash FB expert is the link for this. And I'm going to put it on the screen. Molly.live slash FB expert. When you go there, you'll just click a button. It'll take you to the private Facebook group. We're not going to open the Facebook group until Monday. And then we'll do this on the, it'll be on Wednesday and then it'll be available for 24 hours and that's it. So you got to get in and watch it. So good. Okay, so block off your time. It's 10, 10 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday. And if you can't make it at that time, the replay will be available for those 24 hours. Okay, that's the end of our little warm up, uh, you know, housekeeping stuff that we've got to do. And now it is time to jump into this magic. So sometimes when we are showing up in our business, maybe we're learning a new strategy, maybe we're learning um, a new system, maybe it's a new tool we are given the opportunity to be able to go, oh, wow, I get to learn this new thing. What happens is most of us go, oh my gosh, there's so many things to do and I'm freaking out. And I know that it doesn't only happen when we're learning a new tool. I know it doesn't only happen with a new strategy. It happens often in like anything. Maybe it's from something awesome. Maybe you had loads of new clients come in and now it's like, oh my gosh, how am I going to streamline this and not, you know, collapse because of client work. So I have a system for you. This is going to work across anything in your life. Like I said, it's 7.5 steps and we're going to walk through it right now. So if you are ready, give me the word ready in the chat. I am so thrilled to be sharing with this, sharing this with you. And uh, we've got lots of, lots of good nuggets coming out today. Okay. 
So if you know that this will be valuable for your friends, if you know that this will be valuable for your clients, if you know that it'll be valuable for your family, you can go ahead and sprinkle this amongst your community. Just literally like click the little S-H-A-R-E button and let other people know that this is here. You can also do that at symbol to their name if you're watching this on a social media platform that lets you do that because this stuff is going to be so valuable for everyone you know, I promise. All right. The first thing is on this list, the very first thing is, it's one of my favorite words, you have to decide. You get to decide. Every time something happens in your life, you are gifted the opportunity of choice. You are gifted the opportunity of how you're going to react to this. And we were actually talking about this yesterday, both on a glam call and in our show up with video program, that we have the, the choice to react to something or we can respond, right? We have the choice. And I believe that this whole overwhelm thing starts with a choice before anything even happens. So my my invitation to you today is that you make a decision that you are going to live your life, you are going to live your business from a place of calm, from a place of joy. If you choose to live your life from a place of overwhelm, from a place of stressed outness, guess what? That is exactly what will happen. If you choose to live your life from a place of joy, guess what? That is what will happen. Now, I'm not saying this to discount anything that's happening in the world coming at us, right? So obviously there is some crazy stuff happening in the world. I'm, that's, I'm not saying this to discount anything that happens in real life. When you lose a loved one, when you are injured, when, I mean, many of you know, Kelly, one of the main members of our community is navigating cancer right now. Like, obviously she had a bigger thing that she was handled. And, or handed, sorry. And so even with that though, we get to choose. Like Nika is such an amazing example of when Nika had her, Nika, are you still here? When Nika had her cancer diagnosis, she decided, obviously, I'm sure when she first found out, she was not like, oh, yay, goody, <laughs> right? And she decided that she was going to use this as an invitation to prove that we can turn lemons into lemonade, that we can turn limes into margaritas. It doesn't mean that it's always going to be easy. It doesn't mean that you just flip a switch like in some musicals where they say like, just turn it off. It doesn't mean that you can just turn it off, but it means you've made the decision that you're going to do your best to stay focused on the good, right? Okay. So that is the first thing. Can we all decide that we are going to make the decision right now? We are going to, what I call stand for joy. You are going to do your best to be focused on the good. And one phrase that I use every single day, and we talk a lot about this in Glam as well. One phrase that we use every single day is, it's so easy. And we just keep coming back to that. And I was talking about this on a Glam call that sometimes I really... This is going to maybe sound silly, but I activate these muscles in my cheeks and I just say, it's so easy. It's so easy. And sometimes you have to breathe and allow yourself to feel it so that you're not just living as this like fake human who's like, everything's great. Everything's great. That's not what it's about. It's about how can I find that opportunity? How can I find the possibility in the problem? And sometimes it takes time, right? And we're going to go through a whole this whole checklist. But the very first thing is you have to decide what kind of life do you want to live? If you want to live a life that is stressed out, cool. And I think it's also important that we admit that there is an adrenaline rush. There is like stuff that happens within us that makes us, there's some sort of payoff that comes out of being in that stressed, overwhelmed place. For me, what it was for a very long time was that I felt like I was getting validation and sympathy or, um, you know, like it was justifying how hard I was working because I felt guilty if things were easy. If things were easy, people were going to be like, oh, she just, everything's just easy for her. But what if things were easy for me and I could be a beacon of hope for you? <laughs> but for a long time, I really pushed that aside. And one of our clan members, Beejal, was asking me the other day, she was like on a call, she said, are you 
Like, have you always been this positive? And yes, I've all I have been more positive more of my life, but there's also been many years where someone would say, How are you doing? And my first instinct is to respond by saying all the things that are going bad. I love what Brene Brown says about this. And I know we're taking a little bit of time on this first bullet point, but it's because it's so important for everything else. Brene Brown says in one of her books, she tells a story of a car that's driving down the freeway and there's a, it's like a, a film, right? And the film is the camera is panned in on the kids in the back seat, and they're playing and they're loving life and everything's awesome. And they're laughing and there's like music. And then the camera pans out and you can see the parents and like, you know, maybe the dad's driving and the mom leans over and kisses him on the cheek and he looks at her and they're smiling. And then it, it pounds out a little further and you see the front of the car and then it pans out all the way. And we see that this car is racing down the freeway. And then what happens? What do you think happens? Put it in the chat. What do you think happens? You can say it here too on, on Instagram. <laughs> Wait for it. Okay. Thank you so much. So this is what Brene Brown says is that the first comment that's here is an accident, right? She says that most of us, death is the next comment that comes in. I don't know if I've ever actually told the story in a live video before. <laughs> Sorry, Nancy says, well, it's not chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Could be. Accident, death, crash. No. They just keep driving and they go on an awesome family vacation. We are programmed to expect the bad. When it comes to deciding that you're going to eliminate or reduce overwhelm, you have to ex expect the good, right? Expect the good. Yes. Oh my gosh. Sarika, I'm so glad that you're here because <laughs> you're going to love one of the, you're going to love the last tip that I have today. Okay, so you expect the good and know that that can happen and we're building up this possibility because more is possible. Okay, so are we ready to decide? Just give me the hashtag joy in the chat. Give me the, or the word joy. Give me the word easy in the chat and expect the good. And Gay Hendricks says, and I have this in my calendar every single day. It's the very first thing in my calendar. It's at 5 a.m. And it says, I expand in abundance, creativity, success, and love every day as I inspire those around me to do the same. I expand in creativity, success, and love every day as I inspire those around me to do the same. And this is the thing. And he does this stuff with his shoulders where he's like, let's feel the good, right? We've got to feel the good. So first we decide. The next thing that we do is we assess and we've got to look at what's actually happening right here. So you can do this both before you get overwhelmed <laughs> or you can do it right when you're in the middle of the overwhelm. Uh, on our flight back from Orlando this past week, we had no Wi-Fi and I had planned on doing all this work. I took it as an invitation to get ahead of my, my stuff with my calendar because I know in March we are going to be in three or four different states. We're sponsoring social media marketing world. We have all these things happening. We're doing this workshop on my birthday. If you missed it, easy breezy, beautiful. If you missed the link for the workshop that we're doing on my birthday, where did I, I lost it. Oh my gosh. And Damon is here. Damon, I love you so much. Okay. I'm putting the link in the, in the actual thing here. Okay. If you missed the link, this is how you join me for my birthday. Okay. So as I knew that this stuff was coming up, I thought, you know what? I'm going to be a prepared performer and I'm going to use this time to assess. And so I looked at what the heck do we actually have happening here? And I have a planner that we offer. I can even get it for you. Let me see if I can find the link for that one. Maybe Nancy has it. Oh, I got it. So easy. So I have a planner that we created in partnership with Rachel Miller. She helped us put this into a full printable plan. And so what I did is I pulled up my own planner that I created and I've made it available for you. You just go to that link, molly.live slash biz compass. And if you do that, what you do is you actually list out everything that's going to be happening. You just do like a brain dump of all the things that are coming up this month, all the things that are going to be coming up. And then you go through and you identify what are the things that you actually need to have completed this month 
and what are the things that are going to go on the horizon, right? So we'll get into how to actually deal with this list. But first, you have to look at what's actually happening. And that can be like brain dump a list of your to-do stuff. For me, it also is often really taking time to look at my calendar. I am psycho about every single thing being in my calendar and it's all color coded. This is part of the overwhelm piece. It's color coded based on what type of activity that it is. So I'm putting all of this into this assessment piece because for me, this is really about assessing what you even have on the table. I've had clients say to me, Oh my God, I just don't have time. (laughs) And I'm like, can we, let's just get on the call and let's look at your calendar. And they pull their calendar up and it's like empty. And I, rather than being judgmental, I pause and I say, okay, let's look at this because you don't actually have much on your calendar. I know, but there's just so many things. No, if you've decided that you're going to eliminate the overwhelm, we're going to actually use a system to put this in place. And you've got to get all of that stuff out of your head because otherwise you're just going to, right? And I know those of you that are in show up with video, those of you that are in glam, I have like a million templates that we give our clients. And I get that you could look at that list of templates and be like, oh my gosh, this is so much. I'm never going to be able to do all of this. You're not supposed to do it all at the same time. So you can take a moment to assess it. And then we're going to move to the next step. So there's a lot that we can talk about in assessing, but we're going to move to the next step. The next step is, and this is the 2.5. So, oh, you know what? I want this to be I want this to be 4.5. I'm going to change it. Okay. So after number two, we're going to go into deleting. What can you actually just remove? Up until now, this has been the most difficult thing for me because I love life and I love humans and I love saying yes to like everything. And it's not a good strategy because you're going to get tired and you're going to get sick and you're going to be overwhelmed and burned out. So you have to just decide, I am just not going to do this. I'm just deleting it. So can we just all get a delete in the chat? And I would love you to look at your list of things that you're potentially going to do and just decide one thing today that you're not going to do. You're going to take it off. Just not do it. Okay. Okay. And I want to see the nuggets coming in. What's your favorite nugget so far? Okay. Now, and a lot of people love that I say yes, but that also gets me into trouble because then I find myself feeling like, to be totally honest, sometimes resentment comes up around it, but it's not anybody else's fault that I say yes, it's my fault. So who am I actually resentful of? Myself. I'm not resentful towards other people because I could have said no. So we got to be careful about that. Delete, delete, delete. Okay. Then the next one on this list is to delay. And sometimes that's where my like guilt creeps in because I'm I think, oh my gosh, I don't know. I there's there's so much here. I'm gonna let people down. Just delay it. And one of my favorite things, and I even wrote a song about this. So I have a song. Oh, I should I should sing this song today. If you want me to sing this song, let me know in the chat. Say like sing it. I didn't even think about that. But I'll I'll find a track for it. Okay. Um, yeah. And you know what, there's all sorts of things that come up around this to-do list. We have a question that just came up over on Instagram and there's all sorts of things around this to-do list that make us feel anxiety. It's sometimes it's just the act that it's there. Sometimes there's deeper rooted stuff underneath it. Like if your to-do list is to go live and you decide, I'm just going to delete that because you have anxiety around showing up on camera, that's probably not the best solution it may be time for you to ask for support, right? And I'm going to give you, after I go through these, there's a few D's here, four D, ooh, no, all of the rest of them are D's. I love, I love um, alliteration. I'm going to give you a little um, decision tree that will allow you to know whether you want to delete, delay, or the other things that I'm going to talk to you about. So I'll show you that at the end. But first, I'm just going to give you these options. The first thing is to delete. The next thing is to delay. One of my favorite things in the lyrics that I have in this song is to say, yes, I'd love to help you with that. Three weeks from now on a Tuesday, (laughs) the song is called New Normal. And it's actually the whole song is really about this overwhelm concept. I'll sing it at the end. Um, Let me see if I can find the track. I've got the track here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Oh, yes, there it is. Okay. So I'll sing it at the end. But this is a tip that I learned from my friend Diane Halfman years ago. 
And instead of just saying no to people, because I would feel guilty, I would say, ooh, I can't do it right now. Let's revisit that in a few weeks. Can you reach out to me in a few weeks and let's check on it then? So you can just delay. Now, sometimes I get in the place where I just keep delaying and delaying and delaying and delaying. And really what I need to do is delete. So you have this really cool barometer in your heart. And if you put your hands on your heart and you say, what would I love? That's about that decision factor too, right? When you're making that decision at the beginning, you're not just deciding to live a life of joy and calm. You're also deciding, what do I want? Do I want a business that's a seven-figure or eight-figure business? Do I want a business that's a six-figure business? Or do I actually just want to show up and, and help people? And maybe I want to work for somebody else. I don't want to build my own business. All of those are totally okay. But we get caught up in comparisonitis where I, we see that somebody else has done something that they're getting accolades for. And we're like, why aren't we doing that? But we don't look at what it actually takes to build that. Right? Okay. And so good. <laughs> I love it so much. Y'all, if you don't know Sean Quintero, he is amazing. And I'm so grateful for him as a friend and as a client and as a member of our team. It is so good. Awesome. We've got Tim, who's another member of our team here today. And Nancy, we got all the team here. It's awesome. Okay. So first we're going to delete. Well, first we're going to, you know, decide that we're going to live a life of joy. And then we're going to assess the situation from a place that is removed of emotion. If we come into the assessment, like, ah, there's all this stuff. Then of course there's going to be all this stuff, but we come into it calmly with our shoulders down. Like, Hmm, just stay curious. Hmm. What's on this list? Hmm. With no attachment to the end result. Hmm. I wonder what I could delete. Hmm. I wonder what I could delay. Right. Just staying in that place of, of play. <laughs> We're getting to the easy button in just a second, Nika. <laughs> and sometimes I know when you're in a, a launch mode, right, which some of you are, there is a lot. And so you may feel, I can't delete or delay any of this. And so that's why we're going to move to the next one, which is, and this one, I don't know if I can, oh, I can edit. Okay. This is going to be tip 4.5. This is the one that I need to remind myself of the most. Duplicate. So often, and it's something that I'm, I'm actually really good at in so many ways because we have these systems in place. Like, for example, with our descriptions for our videos, I have to remind our community all the time, you're going to write a description for your video. Then you're going to write a post announcing the fact that the video is happening. Then you're going to write an email announcing the fact that the video is happening. Then you're going to write a text message that you can send out about the video happening. Then you're going to write a blog post about the video happening. Guess what? All of that is the same exact piece of text. You're going to duplicate it across all of these platforms. Well, again and again, at, at times in the past, I found myself like, oh my gosh, I've got to create this thing. And then I create it and I realized I had already created it. So pause and ask yourself, hold up. Have I already done this? Well, let me just see if I've already done this. And then work on your systems behind the scenes to organize things so that you don't end up duplicating the work that you've already done or building out a brand new system when you already have a system in place. And I see this happen so often with our clients too, simply in, in the way that they, they show up wanting support or they show up like navigating things where someone was saying, one of our members in our Multiply program, where we write the descriptions for you, she said, I just, I know I need to do videos. I just don't know what to do them about. And I was like, oh my, I said, wait, we've written all the descriptions for you. And even though I tag in Slack and I send an email and I whatever, sometimes our brain is like, I don't, I, I can't see the easy button. Sometimes the easy button's actually right there, but we just don't know the right questions to ask. I shared something the other day that was another um, alliteration, which was ask, assess, ask, and action. And you can move those in different orders. I usually end up doing action, assess, and then ask, or action, ask, ask, I don't know, whatever. You can mix those all up. But you may need to actually just ask. Just And, and I realized last year, one of the things that helped us to, you know, cross seven figures again and do even more in profit than we did last year than the year before is that I asked questions that made me feel silly. I asked questions that honestly, I felt stupid asking them. It's a huge piece of this is willing, being willing 
to release the ego, being real willing to release the badge of honor that lies within the overwhelm. And often what I have seen, and really check yourself with this, because I don't think most people admit that they do this. We stop ourselves from taking action because we're afraid that we're going to be overwhelmed when we win. We're afraid that we're going to be overwhelmed when we succeed. And then we don't end up getting to the level of success because we're afraid that that success will be overwhelming. But guess what? At each new level of success, you are supported. I mean, if you simply look at what we have here at The Prepared Performer, we have so much free content for you, okay, to get your content going, to start bringing in sales, to, you know, all this kind of stuff. Then if you want, like, let's say you just follow what we say for free. Let's say we, you just go watch our training on how to do reels and you start posting reels and you get some more reach. And then you realize, you know what? I actually, I have so many leads coming in. What am I going to do? I, I, or I, I'm like creating all these videos, but they're not organized and I'm not optimizing them. I'm not actually bringing in conversions. Well, guess what? Then you can actually join us in the content club. And we can help you to write more content in a more scalable fashion because you're overwhelmed with how much time it takes to create content. Then you do that, right? You start seeing some success. That's like $30 a month right now. So easy for that level of support. You have a call once a month. You ask your questions. Then once you start bringing in a little more sales, you up level to another level of support. I don't know what on earth I would have done without having mentors in my life that I paid for. But I, you know, you don't have to go in and pay $30,000 right away, you can start with a little, a lower level of support. But the thing is you have to actually implement and you have to actually ask questions. So we just even here, like at the prepared performer, we have support at all steps of the way from free to $10,000 a month. If you wanted a full high level of support, which we have several clients in that program. Now the support is there. So that's good. Yes. Kimiko, so good. So good. Okay. So the duplicate, and this is something we teach so often. It's like set up your systems. This is why in our glam program, we have this, um, we call it the content to clients document where you pull all of the information about your ideal client, about your value statement, about, you know, what it is that you do when you serve your benefits, all of that is in one document so that you don't have to recreate the wheel again and again and again, because I bet for a lot of you, you are recreating the wheel and it's causing overwhelm. Really easy, simple example. I'm going to give you two tools. Do you like tools? I love tools. I'm going to give you two tools that have helped us to be able to duplicate. The first, and I should have a pretty link for this, but I don't. The first is a tool called Clipboard History Pro. Hello over there on the gram of Insta. We are mainly on the Book of Faces and on YouTube, and you should come join us over there. It's so good to see you. Nikki, I love you. Okay. Uh, Clipboard History Pro. Now, Clipboard History Pro is a Chrome extension. And I found myself having to copy and paste things a lot because I was trying to use this duplication protocol, right? What ended up happening was with Clipboard History Pro, and I'm actually going to show it to you. It's so cool. It allows you to save things on your clipboard. So I have my YouTube channel pulled up here. I'm just going to show you my YouTube and show you how this works. You want to see it? It's totally free and I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I think I need to show you the backside of Restream instead. Hold on. Ready? Ready? It's coming. Okay. I'm going to screen share. Can you hear me? Here we go. Okay. So entire desktop. I'm going to show you this here. All right. So this is my whole desktop, right? You're seeing Restream because that's what I'm using today. If I click right here, boom, my whole clipboard, everything. And you can see running a business can be overwhelming. Running a business can be overwhelming. That was the copy that I wrote for this <laughs> video. All you do is you click right here. It saves everything that you copy. These are all the things that I've shared with you recently. And then you can have your favorites. So another thing that happened for us a bunch was we get a lot of speaking requests. And when it happens, I have to sometimes get better at saying no, or I need to be clear about our boundaries and know that if someone wants us to speak somewhere, this is the information that we have for them. My bio is already written here. So this is another tool. It's a speaker kit. 
My bio is already written here. My short 100 word bio, testimonials are here. Other like social proof of where you may know me from. And I know you can't see this if you're watching on Instagram. So you have to come to Facebook or YouTube. Um, and then, uh, you know, people who have heard me speak or had me at their events and then suggested topics. So instead of me having to go stop everything that I'm doing and fill out a form, I my team can help me with this. The media kit is here. If there's, let me just show you this. Ah, this is new. We used to have it in a Google Drive. Shoot, I need to update that. That's good to know. <laughs> it's going back to the same exact page. I will add it. So if when they go to the media kit, I'll show you what it is, the link that it should be. Oh my gosh, I forwarded the link to this page. Jeepers. That is the problem. Oh my gosh, I'm such a dope. This was set up and then I thought I'd be clever and forward that link. Okay, I'll fix that later. So the what it goes to is a folder, a Google Drive folder that has all of my approved um, photos and videos and all of that where it's just right there and I don't have to go search for it every time. So you can create your own studios. I'm reading the comments. You can create, create your own tools that make things so easy. Okay, tell me your favorite nugget so far. We're doing a giveaway. We are giving away a book. Give me your favorite nugget so far. Okay. Oh my gosh. So that is where we were at with the um, duplicate. Okay. Then the next thing is delegate. And I know for some people it may be like, well, I, you know, I don't have a full team yet. You don't have to bring on a full team. You can bring someone in for just a few hours a week to get started. When I first had my first assistant, she worked just a couple hours a week. It doesn't have to be a full on full-time team member. And one thing that we do, because I know that what happens with team members is then you think like, oh gosh, well, I'm going to have to teach somebody how to do this. And it's going to be way easier if I just do it on my own. So two resources that I have for you when it comes to delegating. The first is um, use something like Loom and Google Docs, record a video of, of you actually doing the task. Even if you're a solopreneur and you don't have a team yet, do this. Record a video of you doing the task then save it and give it to a team member to write out and document the steps inside a Google Doc. It's better if you have someone else document it because if you're documenting your own video, you may uh, miss things because you're watching yourself, right? Then this is something that I learned from Dan Martell a million years ago, which is that you create an operations manual, a playbook, if you will, in Google Drive. It is a living, breathing thing. This is why if you're in show up with video or you're in the content club or you're in um, glam, this is why we use Google Docs and not just a PDF because they're living and breathing. And we know that these tools change. And rather than being like, oh, the tools changed. Oh my gosh, I have to spiral out again. I can be like, oh, that link was broken. Interesting, I'm gonna fix that later. And then I could actually, what I should do, and I will do right now, I'm just going to pull up or I could even, I could delegate it. I could say, Hey, Nancy, I love you so much. And I'm so grateful for you. Can you ping me in Slack right now and remind me that I messed up that link yesterday on my speaker kit. Do you see how I just delegated by lovingly telling Nancy how important it is for her to message me <laughs> that information where if instead I had stopped to go do it myself, that's going to potentially lead me into spiraling. Right? All of this is about setting yourself up for success. And I've got some really cool tips coming up. So there's even more tips coming. So that was um, delegate. Okay, then we're going to get to the point where you're going to actually do the things. Now, when you are doing the things, let's just talk about this right now. Ready? I'll get you that clipboard app also. If you want the show notes from today, because I'm going to put all of this into one big document, just type the word remind me below or go to molly.live slash remind me and you can get opted in for the show notes. Nancy just messaged me on Slack because she's amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, when you get to this do section in the do tip, what's gonna happen is we want to make sure that we are systematizing to scale to success. If you are a creative, do you consider yourself to be one of these things like creative 
kind of maybe a rebel who doesn't like to follow rules, maybe a little weird. If you resonate with any of those terms, put it in the chat. And I will say I resonate as a cuckoo bird. Like maybe you've got some ADD, maybe you've got some squirrel syndrome. If that's you, know that you are looking in a mirror and it's amazing that I have been able to actually use systems. <laughs> so I just was doing a, a video on Instagram earlier today where I was putting my makeup on and I said, like, really, I learned that systematizing everything that I do is what gives me the, the freedom to be able to be goofy, to be able to kind of sporadically decide I'm going to do things. And a lot of this came from my experience in the theater because I like when I did Evita, for example, I played like 75 roles. Plus I was understudying Ava. So I had to know everything that Ava was doing, plus play all these different characters and had like 18 costume changes backstage. If you did not systematize your costume change, you were going to go on stage naked. Same thing when I did 42nd Street from like shoes, gloves, hair piece, tights, even sometimes ridiculous. And makeup was a part of that. So I've learned how to do like a three minute face that takes zero time, three minutes of time as a part of the system. Same thing with like my hair or my earrings or whatever, but that I know, oh, I've got these things that I always have in place before I actually go live, right? I moved my entire studio over here today because I was tired of those shelves. If you've seen the shelves in our apartment, in our apartment, in my house, they're not finished yet because we've been traveling. And I was like, I cannot do one more video in front of these empty shelves. So I had set this up on the other side of my studio. This is my old thing that I used to use. It's like a real piece of fabric in front of a window. But right before I went live, I didn't have my microphone. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have my microphone. But there's certain things like a checklist that we need of the things that we have before we go live, right? And the system is set up so that you just sit down into the system and then you are fully supported and you don't need to have all this anxiety around it. It's one of the reasons that when things go wrong during our videos, I know that so many people are like, oh my gosh, how did you keep it together? Because I celebrate it. And I know that if you're here with me and something goes wrong and I freak out about it, I've decided I don't want to be known as that kind of person. I don't want to be the person who freaks out. Your energy is contagious. In Glam, we talk about contenergy, which is your contagious energy. And I decided I want to show up as someone who is spreading positivity and I could choose to harp on if I'm overwhelmed or whatever. And it doesn't mean that I'm ignoring it. It means that I'm just choosing how I'm going to respond and view it because I know that if I get sucked into that spiral, it's going to make it worse. So the first thing in the, uh, the do section is follow the system, follow the process. And when you first get a checklist, it's probably going to feel like, oh my gosh, there's so much here. And just do the first thing on the checklist. It's going to get better every single time. And one thing that we've talked about a lot also is that when it comes time to doing something that's feeling overwhelming, give yourself a gift while you're doing it. Which is my next tip, <laughs> which is to dance. Now I put dance on here. Not meaning to actually dance unless you want to actually dance, which I like to do, but make it fun. Reward yourself with it. So if there's something that you know you are resistant to, figure out how to connect that with something that you love. We have a glam member who was resistant to doing videos on her own. And we're like, you know what? Do it with someone else. Because when she's on a group call with us, she's so brilliant. So people have volunteered to do videos with her. Just to have that extra little bit of camaraderie, right? Nika was talking about, we have a system called Star Tasks. And she said um, that, you know, she was not finding time for it. So instead, she decided she's only going to do them in bed with her coffee. So she gets all cozy and does them from bed. Amazing. I realized I wasn't using my hot tub enough. So I decided a while back I would only do Q&As from the hot tub. And I used to only do them from the hot tub. We use our hot tub a lot now, not even tied to work. So I don't always do that now. Yes, and I, I totally know this. It's such a great example. There's a book called The Checklist Manifesto written by a surgeon who didn't want to leave surgical instruments in his patients. I have listened to that, I think, like the audiobook or something on it. 
And if you're wanting to find partners, so this is a great question. This is one of the reasons that I have joined so many masterminds because I've wanted to find people with similar goals, with similar values, with similar work ethic, with a similar set of stress, set of things that may be stressing them out. So if you're looking for people to connect with, I can give you a few places. One is right here on this video <laughs> in the chat, right? The other is we have a free Facebook group where you could jump in and say, hey, I'm looking to connect with this type of person. The other is, and this is my favorite way to do it, is actually in a paid membership or a paid group, because then you know that the people who are there have actually already invested in their business and themselves. And so it's a little bit of a differentiator between someone who's treating their business like a hobby and someone who really recognizes that this is an actual thing that I'm going to be making money on. So it's worth investing in for my own sanity and for the future and growth of my business. And then we have a whole power partner system that we go over. Um, if you, there's a lot that you can do to find power partners. We have a whole exercise for it where you look at where your ideal client is spending time and the places that they're, the people that they're following. I once had somebody email me and he said, Hey, I love your content. It looks like we're content cousins. My community would really appreciate your guide about blah, blah, blah. But would you want to do a content swap? And I was like, um, totally super cool. Awesome. So brand new PT as in physical therapist with PT. Because there's, if you just, let me just show you this. So many people don't realize how much potential there is simply by using Facebook as a search engine. So watch. If I go here and I search... I don't know if you mean physical therapist, but I search physical therapists and then I search groups. Look, physical therapy directory in a group, California or psychotherapists in private practice, physical therapy jobs, USA only. You're going to find other physical therapists here. Look, all of these groups, and you can go in there and just talk to people. So good, so easy, because what we could, so let's like look at that just as an example, because you could say, oh my gosh, I'm so alone. I'm just getting started. I don't have anything. Or you could do one of the three A's, which is, you know, assess the situation. I don't have any physical therapists. Oh my gosh. Ask, hey, how do I find other physical therapists? Which is what you just did. So it can be so easy, right? Oh, brand new PT brand new part-time. So yeah, if you're part-time, awesome. Everybody starts at part-time, but I don't know what you're actually, what are you um, selling or what's your, you know, what's your, what are you building business-wise? And it depends on what type of a partner you're looking for, right? So we've got to, you want to identify what your intention is. So Okay, so now I'm going to give you, we've gone through this list. So I'm just going to go over it really quickly. And then I'm going to give you the, um, this barometer. So you know what to delete, what to delegate, all that kind of stuff. Decide that you're actually going to live a life of joy and you're going to remove the badge of honor that you've been claiming as a busy person. I remember walking into an event once and someone saying, Hey, how are you doing? And I said, Oh my gosh, I'm so busy. And this lovely woman who was in her seventies looked at me and she said, Molly, we are all busy. And I was like, <laughs> she clearly was tired of me saying that I was busy, but it's true. Cause I was using it as a badge of honor. Drop that Wear your easiness as a badge of honor. So decide, assess the situation, then either, or all of these things, delete, delay, duplicate, delegate, do, and dense, <laughs> find the joy in it. Right. Okay. Now let's, let's look at, I'm going to pull up and a graphic for you where I'm going to show you this little barometer of how to know what to do, how to know what to delete, how to know what to um, delegate, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Because it is awesome. I think I have it in these. I thought I had just the graphic by itself, but it looks like I have it in a slideshow that I have to bring up, which is going to be great. 
Okay. And if you want to know, like, as we are releasing this overwhelm, if you want to get an actual system in place to follow in order to add an extra 100K to your annual or even monthly revenue, weekly revenue, that'd be awesome, right? Um, then join us for our upcoming training because it's going to be so fun. We're doing it next Wednesday. And you can go to molly.live slash FB experts to join us there. Okay. This is the graphic that I want to show you. So this is a full client journey map. So as you are building your business, eventually over time, you want to have all of these pieces in place. So you want to have an awareness entry point. You want to have this consideration phase where there's a lead capture tool, a lead capture opt-in form, an opt-in thank you page, some sort of email nurture sequence, messenger or text message follow-up, then you lead them to the sales page. Then there's a thank you page, welcome sequence. And then you start the process again by asking them if they have referrals. Right now, what most people do that I see is they focus a lot on this awareness, keep trying to get more awareness and they keep trying to get more awareness, but they fall off right here. Some people will get stuck in this lead capture section in the consideration section where they're like, okay, I'm, you know, I'm trying to I, before I can make any offers, I've got to build out my full email nurture sequence. Before I can do any of this stuff, I have to make sure my, you know, all these things are in place. That is not the fastest way to actually see results. The fastest way to actually see results, do you want to know what it is? The fastest way to actually see results is to go from awareness right to sales. Eventually, that's not going to be possible because not everyone's going to say yes. Some people are going to lead, uh, need more follow-up, more, um, you know, th there's beliefs that need to be instilled in order for them to be ready to say yes. So my first suggestion is that we always focus on how do we go from awareness to sales? Then eventually you're going to find yourself in one of two problems. One is you're going to have overwhelm because you have so many sales and at that point, the most important thing for you to do is to build out the systems to sustain that, right? Which would be like this whole section here. Or you're going to find that you have no sales coming in because people are saying no. And that means you need to go back and figure out what needs to happen in this consideration phase. So if you look at this, and I actually created this as an, as an assessment for myself. Remember, we talked about that assess thing in the beginning. You can assess your to-do list, and if you're trying to decide what you're actually going to focus on, see, do a, a little checklist on this. Like, do you have an awareness playground is what we call it? Do you have a place for people to find you? If you don't, that needs to be your focus. And then do you have, like I said, I like to cut across the circle, bloop, bloop, and go to the sales section. Do you have a way for those people to buy from you? If not, that's what you need to focus on. And then do you have a follow-up system in place or do you have so many people buying that you need to check on this? Like you get to decide which of those you're going to focus on. And it's not possible to focus on all of it at once. And that I think is the biggest thing for us to really come to terms with is if you try to do all of it, you're going to do, if you try to do everything, you're going to do nothing. So give yourself the grace to do an assessment and not like just, just puttering around thinking like, oh, someday I'm going to do this stuff. No, give yourself the grace to like really set aside time to do the foundational work. It's a huge part of why in Show Up With Video, we spend so much time looking at our ideal clients. What are their beliefs? Now, meanwhile, while you're doing that, to be able to create the content to fill out the awareness and consideration, you can be talking to human beings and making offers. And most people avoid that because the idea of getting on a call with someone feels overwhelming. But it doesn't have to. You can decide that it's easy. You can decide, hey, every day I'm going to message five people and thank them for being a, you know, a friend. Thank them for being a part of your community. And then once a week, maybe you're going to message 10 people with an opportunity to, to work with you. Or maybe every day you're going to message three people with an opportunity to work with you. 
And if you get to a place where you're like, I could never actually message people something like that, that's what salesy weirdos do. Ask yourself one of the most important questions that we have, which is, when did you decide that? Because what if there was a way for you to actually make offers that felt good for both parties? So good, <laughs> right? What if? It's good, right? So the biggest thing from this is if you have a to-do list that feels overwhelming, if you have a to-do list that's like, oh my gosh, there's so much, ask for support. If you're in one of our... Whoa, my, com my camera blocked out. If you're in one of our communities, post in the group, hey, I've got all these things on my to-do list. What should I delete? I will delete things for you. Like for reals. <sighs> so good. All right, so that is our full list. I'm going to go over it one more time. If you find yourself in a place of overwhelm, I have this whole list for you right now today. If you'd like the notes from the show, drop the word, remind me. If you would like to join us to learn more about the real strategical way that you can show up online, oh my gosh, do it. And I have one extra little tip that I want to add in before I go over this, which comes from this, this dance section. Oh my gosh, and I have to sing the song. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to sing the song too. So one thing that I noticed is that I was, I was working so much that I was not prioritizing time for play which is why I have this dance section here at the end. So what I ended up doing is I decided every Wednesday I'm blocking off the second half of the day just for fun. And in my calendar, every single Wednesday, it says learn or create magic. I can pull up my calendar and show you right now if you want to see it. <laughs> learn or create magic. I ended up starting to take piano lessons. And so now I take piano lessons on Wednesdays too, because that for me is creating magic. And I know if I don't give myself the space to create, if I don't give myself the space to tap into the magic, I'm not going to be able to show up for you as powerfully. So I protect that time like a mother who's protecting that time. And that's why, you know, why I have dancing on here, because it's so important for us to set aside that time to fill up because you cannot give from an empty cup. And if you think, oh, I'm just going to go through and power through this to-do list so that I can be on top of it tomorrow, it's not going to happen. Because there's going to be more emails, there are more messages, there are more questions that come up, and you're never actually going to live your life. So you have to prioritize that time for play if you ever want to get on top of this. You have to, for real. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little recap and then we're going to, I know I'm going over the hour, a little recap and then we're going to um, pick a nugget winner and then I'll sing the song to close us out. Oh, which will be so fun. Okay, so if you are finding yourself in a place of overwhelm, I want to let you know that I'm gonna cover this today for you. I'm gonna give you seven and a half little steps that can help you when you're stuck in a place of overwhelm so that you can push that stuff aside and show up as a human being who lives their life powerfully while also building a business. And as you have nuggets while I'm sharing all of this, drop them below and uh, we got some magic coming for you too. Okay, the first thing is, you want to decide that you are going to live from a place of joy. Practice the muscles of celebrating joy. Practice the goodness of what it feels like to live in a place of, oh, wow, that's interesting. Not in a place of, oh, what just happened? In a place of, yes, whoa, a sparkly boulder just walked into my room. I'm going to see how this problem can become a possibility. And exercise those muscles on a daily basis. Decide you are going to live from joy and do it as often as you possibly can. The next thing is you're going to assess the situation. So whether that means you look at your calendar, whether that means you look at your to-do list, whether it means you look at the full strategy you're about to implement, take some time to remove the emotion from it and assess the situation. My friend and one of my mentors, Michael Burnoff, did a video yesterday about how we as humans are addicted to drama. We don't have to be addicted to drama. We can choose to be addicted to the goodness of feeling good. So assess first so that you see what you're actually dealing with. And if you need support with that, 
you can ask someone to help you with that assessment like me. Okay. Then you're going to first delete, delete as many things on this list as you can. Just don't do them. Remove them. Now, if you start to feel anxiety around deleting things and like guilt or whatever, all the stuff that, that comes up around that, you can decide instead to delay it. And one of my favorite things to do with this is like, oh yeah, let's revisit that in a few weeks. You don't even have to say we're going to do it in a few weeks. You can say, let's revisit it in a few weeks. Next, duplicate. Have you actually already done it? And maybe you forgot that you already did it. <laughs> I have been there many times. Have you? So intentionally duplicate things and then like copy them and use them again. And intentionally look when you're about to create something new, be like, have I actually already created this? I don't want to create it again. <laughs> okay. How can you reduce, reuse, recycle? All right. The next thing is to delegate. This can be by bringing on an actual team member, but it could also be going to something like Fiverr or whatever and finding someone to do one little task at a time. Awesome. Two things that we love about this. One is creating your own internal playbook where you record yourself doing the task so that it's ready for someone to step in and take over when you're ready to build your, build your team. The other thing that we have in this actually is in our GLAM program, we have a whole separate team portal and we do a monthly training for your team members where we teach your team members how to do the system so that you don't have to do it. So good. Oh, so good. <laughs> I got to, I got to sit a little higher next time. Okay. Then, um, do it like actually do it. But when you're doing it though, make sure that you're leaning into systems so that you can streamline, make sure that you're leaning into the joy that you're not bringing in this heavy weightedness in the words that you're using around the things that you're doing. Instead of saying, I have to do this Q and a, I get to do this Q and a, I have to do a webinar. I get to do this webinar. I have to write an email list. Oh, I get to write an email to the humans that are going to open this on the other side and stay in gratitude around it, right? Okay, and then the final thing on here is to dance. So as much as you can, reward yourself with the things that you love, weave them into your business tasks. Man, it's so good. So this is the full system. You can use this system. Take it right from the top. If you start to feel that overwhelm, okay, wait, I decided I was going to be in joy. Let me assess the situation. Pull back, read through it. Okay, am I going to delete it? Ooh, yes, no. Delegate? you know, duplicate, do whatever. You're going to go through this whole checklist. It is magic. As long as you remove the emotion from it and you stay in that place of gratitude and joy. And as an example, I'm going to show you that what I decided to do with this, because I wanted to live from a place of joy and making sure that I was still doing the things that make me happy as a human being. I actually decided to write a song about this and bringing my musical background and my music into what we do business wise is something that has really helped me to be able to live a more full human life, right? Same thing with how I bring my kids into our business as well. It allows me to live a more human life because I bring them into all of it. So keep the nuggets going. We're going to pick a winner in just a little bit. I'm going to sing this song for you. I said, girl, I'm trying to get this done on time. Girl, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Showing that I don't need a break for lunch. I'm staying up late for your product launch. Got my new normal. I got my new normal. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a second. I'm going to sing it again because I think I brought up the wrong track. Do you like it? Is it fun? <laughs> I haven't sang it in a long time. Okay, this one has background vocals on it, I think. All right, ready? I said, go, I think I'm going to run out of time. Go, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Sure, yeah, I don't need a break for lunch. I'm staying up late. For your product launch, got my new normal. I got my new normal. My Frankie says. Frankie says, Mom, I watch me, I look like a duck. Mama, come with me to the ice cream truck. I say, hey, baby, baby, you know that's what I want. Just give me a minute while I close this one. Got my new normal. I got my new normal. Uh, do you see? <laughs> I 
I got a new friend in honesty. And I want to change this world without losing my mind or my heart. So I can choose that I can be free to create my new normal. Right? Because you're going to decide that it's easy. He says soon you're going to run out of time. She says, but right now your time is mine. I said, sure, I'd love to help you with that. Three weeks from now on a Tuesday, got my new normal. I got my new normal. I'm finding time and I say, I'm going to change this world without losing time for life. Ooh, my hope is this will start to land and be my new normal. <laughs> All right, ready? This is my favorite verse. I got my new normal. I wake up without reaching for my phone. I trust that I can change the world. Feeling focused and I'm feeling fine. Char says, Mama, can you wipe my butt? That's my new normal. That's my new normal. That's my new normal, and I love it. That's my new normal. What's your new normal? What's your new normal? I got to go check my phone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so what's your new normal? Let's pick our nugget winner. Ready? I'm going to scroll through and pick a nugget winner. Here we go. First person. We got just one person today, so we're going to pick it right now. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Hold. Okay. I got I got team member questions. Everybody's like replying to each other. Hold on. Okay, this children's book is going to. I got to find it again. Another nugget. Sorry, I went back too far. Oh, my gosh. You know who wins it? Cassandra <laughs> Stafford, my awesome piano teacher. We're going to be doing this today. I'm taking a piano lesson. I'm back. It's so good. And she says, Nugget, don't be scared to ask for help. So good. Oh my gosh. I love it. The banana phone, which I was going to bring out like three times, but it's on the other side of my office. So I didn't. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, Cassandra, I'll talk to you today about, do you have our children's book already? I'll see you today, but I'll make sure we get your address. You can email us at molly at the prepared performer to get a copy. Yes. So good. Thank you so much for joining us. If you're here for the first time, I know we had some new members here today. Come back. We're here most Wednesdays. Next Wednesday, we're going to be live in a private Facebook group at 10 a.m. Pacific time. That replay will be up for 24 hours only. And it's how experts are adding an extra 100K into their annual revenue. I got some new stuff here for you. So um, make sure you get signed up. Okay. <laughs> the banana phone is so good. I love it. Amazing. Step into your new normal and we got you. If you need support, let us know. If you want a higher level of support, drop the word call. We'll reach out and get you a call too. <laughs>